In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an iOS loader to your UX prototype. Let's get started. To begin, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. It's a voice recorder app, and I'm currently working on this login page. On this page, the user can enter in their username and password and then click login to continue with the application, or if this is their first time using it, they can create an account. I'm going to import the sketch design into Origami and then add a loading sequence to it. If you're brand new to this workflow, I have a video that goes over how to import sketch designs into Origami and how to make your prototypes interactive with that program. So if you're brand new to this, I really recommend watching that video. But for right now, I'm going to gather all the contents of the login screen minus this button. I'm not going to include this button with the initial copy and paste of everything. So I'm going to grab everything, jumping into a blank origami file. I'm pasting it by clicking Command V. A little bit of white peeks through because of the background layer being white. So I'm going to just change the color of the background to black. Next, I'm going to add in that login button. And the reason why I have to copy and paste this independently is because this is going to have a different interaction and needs to be its own separate layer. So I'm going to place it in the middle with anchoring and then bring it down and then just modify the Y position. Then for organizational purposes, I'd like to label all of my layers. With this interaction, I would like to modify this button. So when this button is tapped on and the user wants to log into their account, this transforms into a loader and then the user will proceed to the next page. So I'm going to add a tap interaction to this button to begin this interaction sequence. So I'm going to go to login button, click touch and then tap. And if you pay attention to this area right here, this will be triggered when I actually tap on this login button. When I do, it is triggered. If I tap anywhere else on the screen, this is not triggered. So when this is tapped, I want to turn on a switch that's going to begin an interaction. So I'm going to add a switch patch by double clicking on the screen, connecting the tap to the turn on switch. And then when this is turned on, I want this login button to fade in opacity. And then I want the activity indicator to appear. So I'm going to include a transition here of the opacity of this layer. It'll actually start at one because I want it full opacity in the beginning. And then at the end of the transition, I want it to be zero because I want it to disappear of the opacity of this layer. So I'm going to connect the end of this transition patch to the opacity of the login button. And if I just connect the switch to the progress of the transition and I click on it, it'll just disappear completely. But I'm going to want to include a slight animation here. So I'll refresh the prototype, double click and say animation and add an animation patch here that will be pretty quick, 0.2 seconds, and specify a particular curve. Now when I refresh it and click on the prototype, it slightly disappears, which is what I want to occur. I might also want to include a slight difference in the scale so it looks like it is getting smaller, so I'm going to include a transition of the scale of this button. So currently the scale is one, which is when it starts. And maybe I'll just make it have a slight decrease. So I'll change it to 0.8, connect the classic animation to that progress, and then connect the end of this transition to the scale of the login button. Refresh and tap, and it slightly decreases in size. Next, I want an activity indicator to appear when this transition occurs. So I'm going to go to this plus area. I click the plus and I'm going to scroll down to iOS and click on the activity indicator. When I do so, the activity indicator appears in the center of the screen. I'm going to move it downwards. And it's also a little small, so I'm going to make it the large option, which looks like this. Next, I only want this activity indicator to be visible after this transition occurs. So when the switch is turned on, I want a transition to occur of this activity indicator. So I'm going to double click and click transition, starting from zero to one of the opacity of this activity indicator. Refresh. Currently the activity indicator is not visible. I tap and then it becomes visible. But it looks like the activity indicator appears a little bit faster than the button disappears. And that's because there's this point two of this transition that occurs. So we can just attach the end of the classic animation to the transition. Refresh and tap. And now it's seamless. 
So that's how I add activity indicators to my iOS prototypes. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.